Hi, this is an ordinary voice of spiritual ventriloquism. You are listening to the dummy himself. You know, you know, I was looking back on the, you know, things that I used to do and how crazy the world is right now. You know, and I got to thinking, you know, how religious concepts are kind of tied into everything. You know. Um, actually, I've done this video before, but uh, it auto-deleted in my pocket while I was working one day. So, here you go. Go at it again. But, you know, the funniest thing is how funny and how ironic and how fitting uh, things can be. Current events, your work life, theology, eschatology. All those kinds of things. They all kind of like interweave in together into the fabric of life. <laughs> you know. So, you know, I got to thinking the other day about uh, years ago when I, when I, when I worked at, uh, I worked at Dollar General. And, uh, you know, and being the philosopher, the thinker, uh, the philosophical guy that I am, I, I do a lot of thinking. And I try to think about my current environment in the light of, you know, the things that I've studied and got some kind of mastery over. I'll just leave it at that. I was one day especially, I'm, I'm driving through the warehouse and, and, and all of a sudden I'm just looking up in the air and I'm like, all these shelves and it's just endless, endless boxes, okay? And I... It just dawned on me. This is where all the bad trees go when they die. <laughs> they go to Dollar General. <laughs> you know, and I, you know, I thought, you know, for a minute, I thought, you know, that's a, just a, a crazy, silly thought because, um, you know, you, you know, the stuff can just come in your head. So, but anyway, I went by the cardboard recycler, and the thing that it's yeah, there it is. It's a, it's a closed system, a closed theological system. This is where all the bad trees go when they die. They end up at Dollar General in the warehouses, and then all the cardboard after the cases come back, um, they're they're put in the. Uh, a cardboard conveyor and a compactor and shipped off again. Karma is definitely a bitch and I wouldn't want to be a tree. I, I'm serious. Not after seeing that. <laughs> so yeah, endlessly life after life being recycled uh, in the name of consumer hedonism. You know? Everybody's got a shop. So there's an ultimate purpose in life. Thank you, my dear. Coffee. Oh, that's good. Cuban. Nothing like it. Anyway, so, you know, and, I, you know, I think about stuff like, like when I worked in uh, Dial as a stalker, you know, one day it was just pallet after pallet after pallet of baby formula, diapers, uh, pregnancy tests, uh, condoms, you know, the rattles, the toys, and all of that stuff. It was like that whole week, it was just crazy, you know? And I got to thinking to myself, I said, these bastards are hitting all the money, all the money, you know? Here, if you don't want to have a baby, use this. And it's the case of uh, Trojans over there, right? And if this fails, then try this. You know, the clear blue pregnancy tester, right? <laughs> and if this comes out positive, then we've got a whole line of baby products for you. Like I said, they are hitting all the money, you know? For damn the, uh, you know, Damn the baby formula! We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get that plastic um, 
uh, whoopee cushion on the truck, man, or something, you know. Uh, it's just, you know, that's life. That's life in consumer America, I guess. <laughs> you know, and, and, and what about, you know, all the volcanic activity that's been going on the last several years? You know, you still got the one over in Hawaii that's just spewing out lava right and left. And, uh, you know, and they're just going off like fireworks all over the world. Iceland and like they say Mount Flirge or whatever in Italy could be going on. That's a super volcano. And now they got concerns about Yellowstone and all that stuff. And I'm telling you, man, there's a theological connection here. I tried to tell you people we need to go back to the old ways. You take the virgin, you throw her into the volcano, the volcano's happy, you know, you go home, chop up some pineapple, roast a goat, it's family time, right? You know? But wait, we can't do that anymore, can we? No. Because the volcano might be gay, you know? And if the Gulf volcano's gay, it's just going to spit her back out. And, you know, and then it's going to really get pissed. And it's going to destroy the whole island because you insist on imposing gender bias in your religious rituals. <laughs> it's getting to be a very confusing world, folks. We can't even die one way or another. It's, it's all up in play. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so if anything, you know, and, you know, yeah, where have all the volcanoes gone, right? Anyway, anyway, uh, that's all I got to say, just odd musings from a raving maniac of an old man. Shalom.